January is National Blood Donation Month, and it's really good timing. Doctors say there has been a severe drop in donations, and that's created a blood emergency. NBC5's Karen Aguilar takes a closer look at the dire need. Meet Marie Fusel. She's a wife, a mother of two, and a cancer survivor. Now sitting in front of me, 10 years after she was diagnosed with leukemia, still living in the same home she struggled to get better in. Each day is a gift. She says she was given a second chance through 100 units of blood and platelet donations that saved her life. Had it been a few more weeks that I waited, uh, it might not have been the outcome that it was. Now advocating. It feels... Um, just liberating to be able to live my life to help others and to ask others to donate blood so other people who are in my shoes have a chance to survive as well. The Illinois American Red Cross and the nonprofit Vitalant say blood donations are down because of the holidays, the extreme cold, and seasonal illnesses. Nationwide, we are having an emergency blood shortage. Um, after the blood supply for hospitals recently sank to the lowest level in a year. And locally. We always seem to have to push harder in January to get people to come out. Blood donations, vital. This shortage could lead to patient care delays. Um, and if not enough blood is donated and available, doctors may face the impossible um, choice of who gets blood and who must wait. The donations, a gift of life for others. But if people are feeling healthy, we ask that they come out and donate. They make an appointment to donate because every two seconds someone needs blood. It's not just cancer patients that need blood. It's accident victims, burn victims, organ transplant victims. There is an American Red Cross location in Chicago that's open daily. There's also other locations in the suburbs you can go to if you want to donate blood. For more details, you can head to our website. Reporting from Orland Park, Karen Aguilar, NBC5 News.